So I have a few more things that I want to do with this. I'm looking at my uh, geometry here and it looks like it's behaving exactly the way that I would expect it to behave. Um, but just a few things more. First of all, if I if I uh, if I want to make variations on a theme, I'd mentioned that the reason for putting in the parameters was to let the the user drive the actual beam itself. So if I if I, with the the family types open, I can go up here and say let let's call this uh, twelve to six. So this is just a way of me indicating the different types. It's going to change from a 12 inch depth to a 6 inch, six inch depth. Those are the values that I had here. But I could come in here and say, what if I want something that changes from 9 inch to 6 inch? Then I, I give it the name by saying new type, but then I come down here and I change the actual size of my model. Oops, sorry, what am I doing? Uh, um, change to 9 and say apply. You see a change. And if I go back up here and let's do one more, I'm going to say, what about a, um, eighteen to 6 inch? You get the idea. 18 to 6 inch. So, 18 to six inch and apply. So now if you look at what's on the screen here, if I just make this like shaded so you can see what's going on, maybe shaded with edges. Um, when I come up here, <coughs> you see that if I change the type to this and apply that, apply this that's me going through the options that the user will have in a project. I want to check it out in a project. There's, there's a couple of other things that I want to just show you. If I, if I click on the solid geometry and I look at the visible settings, I really don't want to see the solid geometry when I'm looking at a course level of display. So if I check that off, that would mean that in a project I would expect that you, know, you won't see it in the family editor, but you'll see it in a project that when I was looking at a, a course level of display, this would not be displayed. This is very confusing for a lot of people, but you're only going to see it once you bring the family into a project. The other thing that I might want to do here is the under structural material type. I hadn't told it that it was steel. It's already got the Omni class number because I started in something that was a template for a beam. And I'm now actually ready to test that in a project. So if I go create me a new project, and I'll just create an empty project. If I then um, draw something, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control tab back to my beam. Let's make sure I save it. So I'm going to say save as the family called. I'm going to put it in the structural and I'll call it uh, custom taper beam. So I'm actually overwriting an old one but I'm that's what I'm calling it. Custom tapered beam. Then I'm loading it into a project and I'm ready to to draft it. But it's there. Now what I what I said why am I only seeing a single line? Because I'm looking at course level of detail. If I change then I'm going to see the beam medium or fine. But if I look at it in 3D with all the other settings, there's my, there's my beam correctly drafted and placed in my, in my model. And the user has the option of saying, let me just turn this a little bit so you can see it. Within a project, my user has the option of saying, uh, you know, I want that size or I want this size, or I want that size. So there's the whole beam ready for you to work with in the model.